to be enriched is to have nutrients added to you. So as you were before you had access to the grace of God, that was the impoverished version of you. That was the ver- perfect day, saints. My name is Hope Gomeja. Welcome back to Verse of the Day. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4 to 6. It says, I thank my God, my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. So the first thing to notice there is that Apostle Paul is thanking God for the grace of Jesus Christ. Now through the grace of, of Jesus Christ, we have been able to access so much, so many depths of God. The verse that I want us to really take note of is where he says that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. Now to be enriched is to have nutrients added to you. So as you were before you had access to the grace of God, that was the impoverished version of you that was the version of you that had no nutrients it had no it was like the malnourished version of you right but once you have access to jesus christ and the grace of jesus and the grace of god through jesus christ you have now nutrients added to you right and he is that one nutrient that you just cannot live without and then it goes on to say you were enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge in all utterance and in all knowledge are two things which connect back to yesterday's verse where moses was telling the people that you have to keep the word of god in your mouth and in your heart so your utterance and the knowledge of your heart more so than the knowledge of your intellect is what keeps you close to god and what this is kind of like the proof of your enrichment it is the proof of your nourishment right To be able to have your utterance be that of Christ and your knowledge, the only thing that you know is the knowledge of Christ, is a powerful, powerful thing. Then goes to say, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Now, we are the confirmation of the testimony of Christ. When we showcase the fruit of the Spirit and we showcase the abilities and the gifts and the empowerment that we have gained through our relationship with Christ, that is the proof of the testimony of Christ, right? By believing and behaving accordingly you prove that he is true if he said by you it would have insinuated that it was confirmed in words whereas in you shows that it was confirmed internally so the confirmation doesn't come by what you are doing it comes by what people can see in you what is coming out of you there's um uh, there's a story in the bible where the Pharisees are asking Jesus, um, why are you guys not washing your hands before you eat? And he says, listen, what is going in us? That's that's a whole nother story. But what is coming out of us proves much more about who we are. And so that's why it's so important to note that Apostles Paul says that it was confirmed in you so just to conclude today's verse of the day um allow the holy spirit to be able to work in you so that the testimony of jesus christ may be proved in you just as it was um with the church in corinth so yeah thank you for watching today's verse of the day and i will see you in day three